Transitional seasons, tough, tough weather, tough to forecast. And here's the setup for our region as we head into the evening hours. A big, strong area of low pressures working its way northward. That's keeping us in this northerly flow. And that northerly flow has been ridiculous the last two days with gusts over 50 miles per hour from the north, keeping things cool. Most of us haven't seen heavy precipitation today, but a smattering of light showers off to the east in central Minnesota. Meanwhile, off to the west, we have a weather wiggle working its way out of the Calgary area, and that is moving to the south and east and will impact our region as well. As we take a closer look, we're seeing showers of rain with that and an increase in cloud cover in the western Dakotas taking place now. Now, our western counties, we are seeing a clear strip uh, making its way through there, but it has remained blustery. It has remained cloudy from the Red River Valley and points east throughout our Tuesday. Temperatures have struggled. Only 30s, mid-30s at that for Babe the Blue Ox in Bemidji. Thief River Falls 37, and it's 40 this hour in Grand Forks. Only 2 degrees warmer in Jamestown as we take a look at our SkyCam out at the Dakota Magic Casino. The wind's still robust there. Now, near the Sisseton Hills that you can see in the background there, some breaks in the cloud cover out there, but the wind certainly keeping things cool, and that's the case in Fargo. It is cloudy here. And look at your temperature, 43 degrees. Feels like 34. Are you kidding me? I don't like talking about wind chills this time of the year, so we'll call it a feels-like temperature. 36-mile-per-hour winds at the top of this hour. Moderate flooding now in Oslo as the river is starting to recede just a pinch down there. Moderate flooding is taking place and expected in Valley City. However, the forecast for the uh, diversion in West Fargo is expected to reach major stage. So all of this water coming down the Cheyenne River is going to twist its way through Kindred and on its way up towards Harwood also as we go through the next couple of days. That is why right now the Oslo forecast is for a receding river level through moderate stage. But here in Fargo, we'll see it go back up over 20 feet as we go through the next couple of days. Here's a photo shared to us uh, by a dock underwater. And uh, Jason says, in all the years living out there, never remembered seeing the dock under this much water. We've had a lot of it. And for tonight, our by hour forecast shows the wind continues, but setting this into motion, you start to see Hutch's arrows disappear. That means the gusty nature of the wind subsides. Where you see blue arrows to the east, closer to that area of low pressure, will continue with breezy conditions and possible passing flakes of snow. No significant accumulation expected. Aha! By morning, that Montana system will work its way down into South Dakota. We'll have increasing clouds in our southwest counties. While we stay stuck in cloud cover in northern Minnesota, Minnesota throughout the morning hours with passing flurries, low 30s and a few 20s to start your day on Wednesday. As we go through the day, we'll notice breezy conditions, but nothing like the last couple of days. We're talking winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, maybe 25 off in Minnesota with late day sunshine out west and decreasing clouds finally out to the east towards the nighttime hours. It's setting the stage, folks, for a very chilly Thursday morning. But for Wednesday morning, first and foremost, low 30s in Fargo, northwest winds at around 15 to 25 miles per hour, 42, your peak temperature in your hometown. We'll see some mid and upper 30s across eastern North Dakota, likewise near 40 for some across parts of central and western Minnesota. Another photo shared by Kristen, this in Grand Forks, look at that off of the uh, flooded greenway there in town. Here is a look at your forecast for Thursday, improving but not hot. And that morning temperature, look at that. Note, no more mosquitoes with 25 degrees as our morning temperature. We warm things up Friday and into Saturday, but we start another unsettled pattern. The good news, Andrea, with the unsettled weather through the weekend into early next week, yes, we cool right back off. But this system does not look overly wet. It doesn't look like a three-day precipitation producer mm. that's going to add significant issues to our flooding concerns. But we certainly need drier weather. Back to that mosquito. You know I'm harboring one in my car. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Just one. Leave your window down tonight. No, I'm going to see how long it lasts. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. You bet.